Okay, well, Roger, Sri Putra has had a habit of running into the frame in these big races, and might he take his chance in the Jadmont International? He might do. Um, you know, he wouldn't be definite, but uh, would certainly consider it. If Franco runs, and it would be <laughs> very realistic to, to know that we're running for place money, really. But he's a horse who can run a big race um, at the highest level, and uh, he's been placed in two eclipses and placed in a Prince of Wales. He ran in both races this year without being placed, but um, you know ground conditions were softer than ideal, and he's a real top of the ground horse. And he had his fast ground when he won his Group Two at York last time, and if the ground came up fast, there was every chance he'd take you know take his chance in the Jumpmont. And if it was a small field, might that encourage you as well? Oh, for sure it would. You know, it's um, you know it's 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 a nice race to win, but. You know, it's going to be difficult to win against Frankel, but it's a nice race to finish second or third in as well, and it, you know, adds to his CV. Sri Putra Planter, far and then behind these reliable man, Robin Hood with Big Blue Kitten. So you think now is poised behind the leaders, Joseph O'Brien, having to decide when to go. Carlton House angling amongst horses now moves through as well to deliver a challenge. So Carlton House for the Queen, and so you think the big two in the Prince of Wales is, have moved on from Columbian Wigmore Hall. Now on the far side, the Royal Runner Carlton House. So you think with a narrow advantage. So you think by a neck from Carlton House, they remain clear, and it's so you think driven out towards the line who's two to three lengths clear and will take his prize money through the five million pound barrier and in the Yorkshire Oaks you've got Shimmering Surf a filly on the upgrade yeah she's uh, been a star this year um, very consistent um, I think she's improving with every run and um, you know again she like Sri Putra she'll be left in the race and you know we'll try and uh, beforehand see what a race might look look like and uh, you know if we thought we could finish in the first three then you know it might be that, that we take a chance and run her. And what about Narain also entered? I don't think she'll run, um, I don't think uh, she's quite ready to step up to a mile and a half and you know she didn't run um, in brilliant at Goodwood on her last start so we've got to go back to the drawing board a little bit with her and um, you know, it might be that she just comes to herself and uh, is ready to compete at that high level that uh, she competed at last year, come the autumn. What other races would you have in mind for her? Well, you know, she's in a matron uh, at Leopardstown over a mile. And, um, you know, going into the autumn, she's, you know, the, the race she won last year, the Prix de l'Opera. Um, and there's a, a few races, you know, not at the top level, you know, Group 3 races for fillies, which, you know, we might have to drop her down in grade and, and try and win and boost the confidence before, you know, going back up to the top grade. And what about in the other Group 1, the Nunthorpe, you've got Beyond Desire in that? Well, she could run, and you know she could run well at a, a big price. Um, you know she, in great form early this season, she won a listed race in a Group Three in her first two starts, and then she ran a bit flat uh, at Chanty on French Derby Day, and and just looked like she needed a holiday. So she had a good month, uh, a good month's holiday um, in the middle of the summer, and um, I was pleased with her run at Goodwood in, in the King George Audi Stakes. You know she definitely um, needed a run that day. She'd come on a lot for it, and uh, she could run well at York. You think she could make up the distance behind Hortensia? You know, listen, it's a it's a good way, it's a good distance to make up, isn't it? You know, you wouldn't uh, hand on heart say that she will, but um, you know, the, the sprint is a, a funny animal, is really, and you know, as you watch a lot of these Group One sprints and big sprint handicaps, you could run a race a handful of times and often get a different winner. Um, you couldn't take anything away from the way Hortensia won at Goodwood. I thought she was very impressive, but I think we'll um, certainly get closer to her. And what about your two-year-olds? Because you've got quite a strong hand for the gym crack. Yes, uh, I'd like to run Modowidge in the in the gym crack, and um, I think the race will suit him. I think uh, he'll run very well in it, and um, possibly we might run a horse called Rocky Ground in the in the sales race at York.